What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how how we can use the Jira software. This is an application, a platform that was created for uh, people who want to work into your project. You want to agile some teams. This has been created by Asclasian. And uh, let's get uh, right into it. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get your free account. And you might want to take a look into all the software development here. So what you want to do here, uh, in order to get started, you want to go into Get It Free. And it's going to be asking you to enter and put, of course, your uh, email, your business email, as well as a passcode. So once you're heading there, you're going to be sending something like this. So tell us a bit about yourself, what type of team you want to work with. It totally depends on you. In my case, I do want to look for marketing here into what's your role i want to look for content managing marketing if you don't have the option available in here you want to choose other and lastly we do have the what are your main tasks here so you want to uh, take in mind here what are the options that can be helping you so the computer is going to be personalizing our experience so you might want to take that in mind in my case i want to look for project managing and coordination um, designed or diagram, productivity tracking and reporting and hit into next. So with that being said, what I just need to wait is how the installation is going to be creating, personalizing my first dashboard of my account. So depending on what are the options that you choose, you're going to be seeing your dashboard in something like this or depend on the template. So here's the template that was recommended for myself, for my sold, for my category, for my field. So here into the name of my project, let's say that I want to look for tagged express management or let's say marketing like this. And here I want to choose this template. And as you can see, here's the recommended. And I'm going to choose create just like that my field or my dashboard has been added automatically if you want to add some tools like for example the google sheets the microsoft team Zeppelin, zoom depends uh totally on you do you want to do that if you don't you can always go into skip and just like that i'm gonna hit into my recent project and here as you can see we can see the board of uh, our work here so it's a really um, easy place to get started here in Jara. This is going to be helping me a lot to track my team, my team workers. So here's the quick start to get started. As you can see, you have to get started with list, view date on your calendar. We can plan ahead with timeline. We can use forms. We can personalize our project and we can give feedback if we want to see more stuff or we have any um, issues there. So I'm going to just close this for a second. I don't want to focus in them because I'm going to be showing you this by myself. All right. So if I want to add more people into my team, take a look here. As you can see, it is my name, Steve. And here I can add people into this specific project. So I want to choose into add people. And here into add people, I can add, let's say, for example, I want to add Adrian. And here's going to be appearing the template to Jara. So we need to provide, of course, an email or I want to connect people with Google, Slack, or Microsoft. That totally depends on you, and you can set an invitation to your team workers, and they just need to accept the invitation, and we're gonna get inside the Jira software. I'm gonna hit into cancel, and I'm gonna show you that we can assign in a specific role for a specific parts of the group of or just a people here. I'm gonna hit into cancel, and once you do have here your people already added into your project, we can see the summary. Here into the summary, this is like uh, how we can see the status of how they are doing here, the do, the created, the updated, the done. And here as you can see, here's my overview of the proof and progress review. So you don't want to focus in here a lot because uh, that totally depends into, uh, into yourself actually. If I go into my board, I can create, let's say, like new stuff. Let's say, for example, make uh, research uh, for YouTube. I'm gonna hit into this task, manage types, and here it's gonna be setting me into settings. So here I want to look for a small distinct piece of work. I want to delete space. Uh, let's say 
little stuff to be done. Description fields, contact. So I can try to edit wherever I wanted to and here to save changes. If I want to add more fields, let's say like a drop down, some short text or like a paragraph, I'm going to just select a date here that appears in here. I'm going to choose date into the upper side and there we go. I'm going to hit into save changes and we are actually good to go. Now, if I go back into my board, I want to hit into OK. I want to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go into marketing, uh, research for marketing like this. And here, the research of for marketing, I want to, I mean, if I can, I can just move that drag and drop like this, like not started, hit into planning or in progress or ready for review. And if I go back into my summary, you might see here that appears here the in progress 100%. So this is totally depending on what you do have on your boat. If you don't want to see this as a board, you want to see this as a list, you can do that or you can do uh, see this as a calendar. This speaking about the list, I can change that from progress into done like this. I can go into my calendar and I can schedule different stuff depending on what products I need to be down here. I'm going to hit into the X mark or the quick start. I'm going to dismiss this. And I want, if I want to, of course, add something else, I need to add that from the list or from the board. If I want to see this like sometimes with some lines here, like a timeline, notice here we do have the timeline in the upper side. So here is the item. And here is the actual date. January, February, March, and all that. I can see this in weeks. So I can see this like a more tracked stuff that I created myself. So there we go. This is how we can get started with the researching uh, marketing. So I want to start this project like tomorrow. And we have like just one week to end this. So on the fourth day of next uh, of the next week, like this. So uh, if I go now into my forms, this is going to be helping me a lot to like collect information that I actually need to depending. I mean, in my case for marketing research, it's going to be helping me a lot creating forms like Google forms. So you have the actually summary description. You can add more stuff, more fields, drag and drop as I just show you how we can do this. The pages, issues, and reports is going to be helping you just to customize and to help you track your team into Jira software. This is how we can get started with Jira software. As you can see, it's really easy to use. You do have more shortcuts if you want to add more. Let's say if you are lackless, you can add, let's say, for example, like videos from YouTube, videos from Vimeo, from Daily Motion. You can add that in here and automatically it's going to be added right away.